It may seem trivial or childish, but the truth is that all of us, at least once in our lives, have believed that there was something under our bed. And these four stories are just a taste of that. In 2014, while in her bed, a 16-year-old girl received a text message on her cell phone saying, I'm watching you. The girl didn't pay much attention to the message and continued to sleep. But then another text message. I'm in your house. The girl, frightened, decided to spend the rest of the night with her mother. The following day, when she went to her room, she could not avoid feeling observed. Her slippers had evidently been moved, and the sensation of being watched increased as the minutes passed. She looked in the closet, among the hanging clothes, behind the curtains, and finally, under the bed. And there, she found a man who had been hiding under her bed all night. The girl screams, but the man is quick, snatches her cell phone from her hand and launches himself out the window trying to escape. The police managed to catch him later and charged him with stalking and breaking and entering. In 2014, a Seattle couple returned to their apartment late one night to find their home completely trashed and vandalized in the most baffling ways. But nothing was stolen. After checking the place, the police found a bag and a document of an unknown woman. However, it wasn't until after the cops had left that Brian and Bridget O'Neill made the truly distressing discovery. As the pair began to clean up the mess, a man moved the bed slightly to pick up a bracelet off of the floor and heard a noise coming from something alive he later said. They once again alerted the police, who found a skinny woman armed with a knife and hypodermic needles hiding under the bed. The intruder had climbed in from a tree near an open window. This woman's intentions still remain unknown to this day. On an evening like many others in 2013, Jeff Bush, a man from Florida, went to sleep in his bed as usual. He didn't know that something beyond imagination was about to happen. Later that night, Jeff's brother, Jeremy, heard a loud crash coming from Jeff's room. He rushed to his brother's room and opened the door, but everything was gone. There was only a dark and large chasm. Jeremy tried to go down to retrieve his brother, but the floor was still collapsing under his feet. Jeremy himself was rescued just in time by the sheriff's intervention. After a few minutes, the chasm got so big that it swallowed the entire house and much of the garden. The analysis of the hole with scanners revealed a depth of over 40 meters and water flowing underground. A Palm Springs woman was looking all over for her cat before going to sleep. She kneeled and reached under her bed, but she touched something else, something that wasn't her cat. 25-year-old Christian Vidovic was hiding under her bed after allegedly breaking in. Luckily, the man didn't attack the woman and, when confronted, took off running. He was caught later by police and charged of burglary resisting arrest. And finally, a cricket player named Guy Whittall sure didn't look under his bed before he went to sleep while staying in the Humani Lodge in Zimbabwe. The following morning, he perched on the edge of his bed with his feet dangling over the edge as he organized his day. Unbeknownst to him, he was just a few inches away from death. He was only alerted to the danger when he heard the screams of a petrified housemaid as he ate breakfast in the kitchen. The housemaid saw a 150 kilogram crocodile 
hiding under the man's bed. The lethal creature had snuck in the day before from a nearby river. The really disturbing thing about this episode is the fact that Whittall was sitting bare feet just centimeters away from the croc's jaws. So the moral of my story? My friends, please make sure you always check under the bed before you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs>